Okay, good day. It's nice to see you all. It has been a very long time since I've made a video and welcome to you. My name is Laritza and this is Stay Strong Channel where we give our strength, our knowing that our strength comes from the Lord. Today we're going to be discussing God's plan versus Satan's plan for you. Now let's get started. Unless we are constantly on guard, meaning aware we that um, the world around us and what's happening in our lives as well as what's happening in the world around us, we will all be overcome by the enemy. Literally be overcome by him. Why? Because we're not understanding his wiles, vials. We, we're not understanding the devil's ways. And absolutely, we ought to be aware, not understand it internally, but understand it cerebrally. Okay, although there's a solemn revelation of God's will to us before we get started, we need to understand that we need to pray. Even though we know what he wants for us, knowing about him does not exclude the fact that we need prayer. And I'm talking about in spirit and in truth, not just in truth, because we can pray all we want, but then we have the prayer of the Pharisee and not of the publican, which was justified, or the tax collector, which was justified. In seeking this, in seeking prayer, we cooperate with him in answering the prayers that we offered. Okay, we call in us praying, we cooperate with God Himself to answer our prayers. And He accomplishes this through His human instrumentalities and not limited to from his the human instrumentalities remember he will use any means he can even through dreams as we continue um i'm going to talk a little bit about lucifer some people believe that lucifer and satan are two different beings some people think that lucifer is still alive and satan and lucifer are the same beings but yet there's like there's a good side to satan nothing can be further from the truth on either aspect of the spectrum lucifer was an angel of light literally of light and he was the angel of song he had all instruments coming out of his mouth and just the beauty of it remember he's a prince of this air that's why the music industry is so saturated because he's got his grip on this world and so now we see satan was uh, lucifer was an angel he no longer holds the title of lucifer because it means angel of light he is the angel of darkness it is a manipulation of what we believe light to be and so we think that there's a good side and there's luciferians they're not as bad either way it's coming from the same entity it says here because lucifer fell Okay, so Lucifer is no longer. He fell. There's, he doesn't exist. Okay, there's no good in Satan. Remember that. No good, nothing good. He says, Thy heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground, and I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. Okay. Many of people, I want you to focus on this because we're focusing on the location of where he's at and what he wants to do with us. The location, I have cast him to the ground and I will lay him, what? Before kings and that they may behold him. Remember, we, we, we behold, we become what we behold, right? So the kings of this earth will be beholding who? Satan. Remember that. It will happen. It is bound to. Ha it is happening right at this very moment. The kings of this earth. Revelation twelve seven through nine says, and there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Okay, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven, meaning that there's no evil in heaven. So they had to leave heaven. The evil cannot, remember, it's an elevated state. It cannot exist. It has to go beneath and under in the core of us. And he wants to be, the devil wants to be lifted up inside of you and inside of me. And it prevailed not. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, the devil. Remember, he has many names. Anything that is not of God, the deceiver, uh, controller, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, there's a lot of names for the devil. Uh, and Satan was deceived, and he deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels out with him. So where is he at? He is now into the earth and he's rising in the people because 
the the Holy Spirit, uh, the the Ruach Hakodesh, the Holy Spirit is departing, and so only God's people will have that latter rain. And so, in Second Corinthians two eleven, it says, "Less." Satan, and this is why we need to be aware, lest Satan take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Revelation 16, 13 through 16. Now this is, a lot of people use this, and this is correctly so, this has a lot of prophecy in it. But it, because right now we are focusing on the location or where he dwells to make sure without a shadow of a doubt that where he where he does his inner workings i'm using these verses to for the location not just uh i'm not going into prophecy of these readings okay i can do that at a later time depending on on how uh if i'm able to okay i would like to Okay, Revelation 16, 13 through 16 says, And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of what? The mouth of the dragon, which is Satan, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of this earth. So where are they? They're on the kings of this earth here, and the whole world, and of the whole world. Okay, not just one area, all the world to gather them into battle of the great day of God Almighty. Behold, I come as a thief. Remember, he won't come as a thief if you are expecting him. Blessed is he that watch. Remember, a thief, and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked. So either you're naked or you're not. You're clothed. Lest, and see his shame because everything will be bare before the Lord. Remember, we can hide from ourselves. We can hide from each other. But we cannot hide from the eye of God. And yes, the scripture says the eye of the Lord is upon me. So it's not Satan wants to pervert that and think that a single eye, because it says if thine eye be single, the body is full of light, meaning the eye, the mind, you be single, single minded, not double minded, then your eye is full of light. If the eye is darkness, then the rest will follow and your body is darkness because your mind controls what you eat, what you think, what you what you wear, whatever it is that you what you say. So we need to have a proper understanding of it. Blessed is he that watches and keepeth his garment. And that lest he be found naked to see his shame. And he gathered them together into place called in Hebrew tongue Armageddon. Okay, now we see that there are, is a battle of the principalities and power. Could any human being know? Let's pay attention to this. The number of the evil angels. Remember, they are legion. Okay, they are legion. Could they know their devices and their activities? There would be far less pride and frivolity, meaning less being less frivolous. Satan is the prince of demons. The evil angels over whom he rules do his bidding. Through them, he multiplies his agencies through the world. Remember, some people say, I'm not a murderer. I'm not a this. I'm not a that. But you lie. You cheat. Your infidelity. You, you don't don't stand up you're a coward all these things don't think i don't have them in me i'm not saying you and i'm not don't start taking it personal my friends i'm talking about mankind now it says so we don't do any of these things but remember it's coming from that source you have a source of darkness and whatever it is that comes out of it envying oh well i'm not killing anyone well we can be killing ourselves and killing one another without even realizing my friends because it's coming from the exact same place that it does that the evil does and i'm talking about people think that they do a little white lie because we, but what do we do to make someone smile are we doing it to what, what about integrity if i do if i love someone's shirt or if i don't like someone's shirt i'm making a, a petty example but if i do it to if i compliment someone and i don't mean it and i'm just doing it to feed their ego then i'm not really being honest and i'm just trying to feed someone's ego to make them smile we have to be honest with ourselves and we have to be honest with each other because that shows love, not mere sweetness. And it seems good, 
but it's really deceiving and it's coming from the same place i'm not saying if you tell a white lie you're going to hell please do not misinterpret my words i'm saying this is character changing and we need to understand that everything that is not perfect everything that is not good it's not from god uh, speaking of Satan, the Lord declares that he abode not in truth. Once he was beautiful, radiant light, but God's word declares him, thy heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. He went and he says, I'm beautiful and didn't think, be, wasn't grateful to God for that beauty. It's like if God gives you a gift and you say, thank you God for the gift. And you just love this gift so much that you deny the one that gave it to you. Satan's aim had been to reproduce his own character in human beings. That's his will. That's Satan's will. That's what he wants for you. No sooner, as soon as men fell, Satan was there and he wanted to implant his image right in the image where God should be in your mind. He says he wants to put the place of the stamp, the stamp right where God's stamp should be in us in the spirit of the mind as he has succeeded in instilling into the hearts of man the spirit of envy remember if we're envious we cannot appreciate one another if we see someone and we just want to knock them down if we're not honest and we and remember okay there's a part in scripture i think it was it's when the four horsemen when he says okay hurt not the wheat nor the wine or wait not the oil or the wine okay hurt not in some translations it says protect so we're like oh we're not hurting anybody but yet we're not standing up for it that's where all cowards it says all cowards will be in the lake of fire that's our part in it too if we're not protecting then it's not we're not uh we're still hurting it because we're allowing it to be hurt we have to develop the proper character because this is where where rebuke comes in this is where freedom comes in this is where not uh, we are oppressed thinking that we have freedom and we're oppressed because we're just staying quiet when when we should be standing up and then sometimes we're standing up when should we should be staying quiet okay no sooner was man created that he went and he put the spirit of envy hatred ambition in this world that he may set up his kingdom of darkness for which he the leader of guilt okay because at the same time satan uses your past and he'll throw it in your face as if it's current when it's actually not current and people will manipulate it and he will use his he will use his minions in order to revive something that was gone such a long time ago no matter what it is what you stole a candy you know i i don't know i'm just thinking anything that can that that's so tri trivial that they make it this big when it's something this small and we have to understand we have to put things in proper perspective because you are a new creature he desires satan desires to usurp his throne of god inside of you fail failing in this he has worked when he when he couldn't do it above he has fell and he works his darkness here in crookedness, deceptions, usurping his place in the hearts of men because he couldn't do it in heaven. He wants to do it in you to mock Jesus Christ. That's why we cannot take things personal, my friends, because Satan is not attacking you. He's attacking the message and the light that you have in order to give to the world. He wants to blind men with his, he wants to take out the darkness. He wants to take out the light so that people can get comfortable in the darkness and you come with the light and they too blind. They, they're like, your light is too bright, even if it's this little, but there's such darkness and we ourselves are pro can, can happen to us because we want to believe our own lies. Failing in this, he worked his darkness in crookedness and deception in the usurp. Okay, in the hearts of men, he has set up his throne between God and man. God is here, man is here. He went, boop, I'm getting right in between and I'm gonna separate God from man to appropriate the adoration that belongs to God and God alone. And we can look at Psalms 34, 7, but I'm not going to go there right now. We're going to see the full, the faithfulness uh, sentinels on guard, okay? They are faithfulness. I'm talking about our angels, the angels. There are good angels and there are evil angels. And Satan is ever on alert to deceive and mislead. He is using 
every enchantment to allure men into the broad of this into the road of disobedience disobedience is not just when we start pointing at homosexuality and we're starting to point at uh, I, I don't know i can't think oh look at that thief look at this we start talking about that there is more to get out there is how we how we uh understand even god himself the broad road of it's a broad road some people say oh i don't want to hear that it's a narrow road well it is people don't want to believe it but it is not only that sinful nature cannot abide in the sin it cannot uh be a, live in the presence of the holy he will be miserable and he will die okay he will die period he is working to confuse the senses of everyone remove the landmarks by placing false inscriptions in the side post which god has established to point you to the right direction it is because of these evil agencies striving to eclipse every ray of light of the soul every late ray of light he wants to take it from you that heavenly beings are appointed to do their work of ministry to guide to guard and to control those who shall be the heirs of salvation he wants he, you know giving a guard around us known None need to despair, my friends, because of these inheritance to do evil. But when the Spirit of God convicts the sin, convicts you of sin, convicts me of sin, of wrongdoing, we must repent and confess and forsake all evil so that it is no longer dominion over us. Faithful sensuals, sensuals are on guard to direct our paths. And if the, the curtain, if we really knew, if the curtain, and this is from manuscript 32, if the curtain could be rolled back and each one could really discern the constant activities of the heavenly families to preserve the inhabitants of the earth from Satan's seductive wiles, lest in their careless attitude, they should be led astray through satanic strategy. <laughs> they would lose a large degree of self-confidence and self-assurance. They would see the armies of heaven are in continual warfare. They're fighting for your soul. They're protecting you. They love you. They love you. God loves you. You know, Jesus loves you. God loves you so much that he gave his only begotten son to, so, so that he may die for you. And so if we would see the constant warfare behind the curtain, uh, and the, we see the satanic agencies to obtain on your behalf of those who do not sense danger and who are passing on unconsciously and indifference. Remember, there's a proverb that says to be indifferent, to say, well, it doesn't apply to me. Oh, it's okay. It says in the proverb, it says, how long will you simple ones love simplicity that I have reached out my hand and you will not hear my rebukes you will not want and then you're like no 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 I want simplicity and guess what the heavenly father says I will not be able to when you come to me I will not hear you you will be drowning I will not hear you because I, I gave you and you would none of my reproof okay I reached I reached out my heart arms and you didn't want me so you were the one that went away it's not me that forsake you is you who forsake me and remember when self is hid in jesus we are shielded from the darts of the enemy remember that and being shielded is jesus is not just trying to take the safe route it's confronting and it's overcoming and it's and it's you know seeing uh uh, having him lift you up knowing that he is stronger than any evil force that tries to bring you down because God loves you and he died for you and no one can take that away let us pray Heavenly Father thank you so much for all that you do thank you for this study and I pray for each and every one here within the hearing of my voice in Jesus precious name we pray amen remember stay strong stay focused surpass the distraction that leads you away from the destination that is made for you be blessed